my channel, Laura Couture. If you are new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe hit the post notification bell button and like this video. So let's get started. Today's video, you guys, it is basically me telling you guys my experience of renting a nail table at a hair salon. So for those of you curious or want to know how it's been going, or if you think you know you may want to do this sometime soon or want to do it, this is probably a good video to start with, I guess. So um, many of you guys know that I used to be a home-based nail tech and I used to do nails at home. Well, I had did nails for three years at home with my kids. I was going nuts. So that's another reason why I decided to late go out and run a table. So I personally wanted somewhere where I felt like the aesthetic was nice. I wanted to be somewhere and I'll leave images of where I am now and how it looks, but I wanted to go somewhere where I felt like, okay, my clients will be super comfortable here. I wanted to make sure that I was super comfortable. So I thought to myself, let me start looking. I looked everywhere. I went to so many multiple places. There was places where it was like a room for on its own. Like you can rent a room with the table there and whatnot. Sometimes they didn't even have a pedicure station. Sometimes it was way more expensive. But most of the places were around 125. Um, like, or it was like 895 or something like that. Like 95, 125, around that price range. I saw some places on um facebook marketplace number 150 so i kept going everywhere i kept going to check places out i never got the okay this is the place like feeling so i just kept saying uh, i'll let you guys know if i decide so i never really decided one day i was on facebook marketplace and i saw this place and it was really cute the aesthetic was cute i saw myself there but i did you know have that anxiety like i haven't been out and about in the work like place or out of my house working in a long time so I was like oh I really hope that I can deal with this I can do with other people um so I told myself you know what let me try I'm gonna go check it out um and to be honest there's probably a couple reasons why I said um yes to this specific place to rent the table at this specific salon one um when I got there I was like wow it's pretty big it was like a whole it's like basically it looks like there's two entrances so there's one entrance of the hair salon and then the lady actually has a separate like entrance for the nail salon so she has basically two businesses in one but two separate entrances but from what it looks like it was two separate um salons or locations but she ended up conjoining them together and there's actually a way in the in, in the middle of those two salons where there's an entrance where they can come into the nail salon area and the nail salon people can come go to the hair station so it looks like a pretty big salon so um i go there and i'm like okay well sorry let me go back to i'd be everywhere in my stories let me go back i was on facebook market facebook marketplace and i like this specific place so i wrote the lady and i was like hey is the chair is still available she actually replied and said yes and i was still iffy and i was like and eh, i don't know I don't, i'm just not gonna reply which i'm like i should have at least said something like okay thanks um i'll think about it or something but i actually maybe think i totally forgot about it. i don't know because i was looking everywhere so like a month or something later she replied or she sends me an actual like direct message on facebook and she my phone and she was like hey honey like if you need it she's spanish she's dominican she's, it's actually um next it's a dominican salon the the owner's dominican she's super nice but she was like hey honey if you're still interested in renting a table i have one available she actually had two so i was like okay um sounds great i will go and check it out i know because i never went i asked her last time like i'll see when i can go but i never went so this time I was like, you know what? Maybe this is a sign that I should go there. So I go there and you know, I meet the lady. So this is another reason why I thought like, I think I can be here because one, I liked how it looked aesthetically, it was cute. Two, the owner seemed super sweet. She was just so warm and loving. And I swear she hugged me like five, every five minutes. So that was nice of her um all the girls there are very sweet um there's a, a maybe 
one, two, I think four other girls there. So I'm the fifth one and I think they're looking for one more. So everybody, you know, basically rents their own space, I believe. And um, everybody I see from the get go. Um, I am very quiet uh, by nature when I don't know anybody. I'm very quiet. Um, I think it takes a lot for me to warm up to people. I don't know why. I think it's because when I was younger, I would be so easily... I would think everybody was my friend, I guess, and then, you know, people are the way they are, girls are the way they are, and, you know, it turns out they're never your friend, they're just co-workers, so it's like you have to keep that happy medium, like, eh, I'll be, like, I'll, like, coexist with you, but I'm not gonna, like, be your best friend type of thing, so I, because I used to have, like, friends from work that I'm like, oh, you know, but they just end up being something else that you never thought. So when I go, you know, when I now being at home for three years and going to the salon, I was just like, I'm going to go there with, I don't know. I want to say I wanted to go in with an open mind, but I'm still very closed off. That's just me. I actually always kind of think I have been like this, but when I was in, I want to say like high school, yeah, I did get out of my shell, but you know, then you realize a lot of stuff. So now I'm just a little bit more closed off. So... Um, it actually sucks to think that way. Like, I wish I was not like that, but I don't know. Um, I think it's because I think, I, I feel like it's because I think everybody has the same intentions I have. And so when I am shown that their intentions were actually not good, it breaks my heart because I'm like, I don't get it. Like, I would never do this to you. Why are you doing this to me? So it's hard for me to be open with people and actually befriend people easily. I don't know. So I'm there now so that was another reason like i said back to what i was saying the place was nice the lady was sweet so far all the girls are nice i'm warming up to everybody i'm pretty sure they're trying to warm up to me as far as i'm concerned as as of now um everybody's sweet everybody's nice um everybody shares their own like everybody shares their stuff so if somebody doesn't have a color, so-and-so will let the other girl borrow it. Same with me. Like, I don't mind. You know, people did, people do or company send me stuff from YouTube all the time. So I actually have a lot of stuff that they're like, oh, that's cool. Can I borrow that? Can I try it out? And, you know, it's actually a cool way for them to try stuff out too. Um, like my Madam Glam gels. Everybody seems to love them. Oh, just so you guys know, everybody at the nail salon is obsessed with my Madame Glam collection. They love the consistency. So if you guys have been basically like been conflicted, should I purchase it? Girl, purchase it. Like they really are the best. And I do have a discount code. So I'll leave that in the description box down below. So I don't have nails on because one of the girls was gonna do my nails. So I'm just gonna see when she can do them. I took my nails off, but I have not gotten my nails done you guys in seven years seven years since i got licensed since 2014 or is that six years it's 2021 six years right i'm so bad at math no it's seven years so um she's gonna do my nails so if you guys want me to record that let me know in the comments down below um also today i am gonna be doing a giveaway you guys for our pretty couture cosmetics um website so I will be giving away a matte lipstick and a facial serum. If you guys have not checked out our website, go ahead in the description box down below. I'll leave the link in there and you guys can go ahead and try something out. There's a lot of goodies on sale, literally clearance, really, 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 really as low as the prices you can think in your head. Like we're just trying to get rid of inventory so it wouldn't be a bad idea if you guys go in there maybe purchase like a, a facial serum or a mat and get a couple of these other goodies and save a lot of money it's like crazy what i did on my website so um that's been going on too so the website is up you guys so if you guys want a chance to win a facial serum or a matte lipstick or both i'm not sure what i'm gonna do or if I'll just, yeah, I'm just going to pick one person and I'll do one facial serum and one matte lipstick. So, the matte lipstick that I'm wearing right now, you guys, is called Sophia. And, um, basically, it's also combined with a lip liner. The lip liner is also called Sophia. So, if you go on our website, like I said, you will see the new lip liners. We got new mattes beautiful colors and they do not transfer watch this nothing 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 
<laughs> okay, so these are actually really great to wear under a mask. But anyway, um, I love this color. This is one of my favorite colors. It's like a nice true red. And it, like I said, it's matte. Um, also, our glosses are going to be coming out. And I will be doing a giveaway video for that in the future. But back to my story or back to the giveaway rules. Just go ahead, comment down below. You want to win the facial serum in matte lipstick. And also leave your Instagram at so that you have a chance to win. And what else before I forget? So, oh yeah, subscribe as well. So comment down below with, that you want to win the serum in matte lipstick. Subscribe to the channel and leave your app. And that's it. Leave your app for Instagram. So, um... Basically, yeah, I've been there for three weeks now. Like I said, girls are awesome. Um, I still keep to myself because I still mind my own business, you know. Um, I've actually gotten a lot of business things in order. Um, I've gotten uh, my new business uh, debit card. I've gotten, what else have I gotten done? I've gotten like a, um, like a card insert. Um, and I put myself on payroll. I did all this. This has been so much stuff going on you guys And before I forget I also have acrylics coming out. They're all actually already done and the, They're done being manufactured and everything. I cannot wait because I cannot wait to do giveaways for that I cannot wait to um, Do swatch videos for you guys and make my website for my nail stuff because you guys know cosmetics and everything yeah, I love lipstick and stuff like that, but not as much as I love nail no supplies. So, that's what I really want to focus on. So, yeah, everything's been going well. Um, this is just basically like a life update. Um, I experienced for three weeks at a booth rental in a salon. Um, a lot of the times, you guys, people only have like one space available in a, in a hair salon. But this is really cool that they had like a whole other business next door where they connected it to the salon and yeah if you guys want to get your nails done by me and you live in the palm beach area or somewhere in south florida or you're coming to visit go ahead and follow me on instagram book me on booksy i actually have my booksy um like i guess um website now so if you want to make an appointment go ahead and make one i am open you guys i'm happy that i can take you guys because um i couldn't do i guess subscribers or anybody that would watch me online because i'm like i don't know these people coming in to into my house because you guys know i was doing it at home so now i don't have to worry about that you guys can come see me and i can meet you guys and i think that's pretty cool so yeah how much do i pay at the booth rental i am paying 125 a week so if you are new to doing nails i honestly won't suggest you do that because there's times where you're just sl slower or like me like i think it was last week it was kind of slow and i'm like oh my gosh and i still gotta pay my booth <laughs> so it's like you gotta think about that also i did increase my prices um I did, what else did I do? I did increase my prices. I increased a lot of things actually. Um, I added pedicures to my services, which I'm excited about. I bought a bunch of jelly stuff and I should have done a haul, but so much has been going on you guys. So I got so much stuff, it's at the salon. Um, I am gonna be doing a mini tour for you guys so you guys can see the the salon and my table maybe i'll do like a a table or a nail table tour or something like that i don't know so let me know what you guys want to see what are you guys curious about what other questions do you guys have about me renting a booth um it's actually only 20 minutes away from my house or like no, no 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 it's not it's like 15 to 18 if it's bad traffic it's like 18 minutes away um it's actually in the next city over not too bad it's in palm springs um florida if anybody's curious and just like i said follow me on instagram if you ever want to get a future appointment if anybody on here is watching that i know hey guys how are you guys and thanks for watching and also thanks for supporting thank you guys that's pretty much it don't forget about the giveaway and comment down below all that stuff and but that is all you guys thank you so much god bless you guys and until next time bye bye